Hey, how you doing, YouTubers? So, Rusty's Metals from uh, Rusty'sMetals.com. This is my YouTube channel. I want to thank everybody for getting me over the 50,000 views mark. I think that's awesome. I'm only a couple couple months old, so I think that's awesome. I want to thank everybody for doing that for me. Please uh, share more videos, view more videos. Um, I want to get this thing over 100,000 views. So I want to thank everyone for doing that for me. I think that's awesome. Uh, on my website, I figured out a way to uh, create better content with these posts. So you'll see a lot better content coming up. Um, these top posts I did recently. These top four. And a couple points to touch on uh, of late is uh, Greg Manorino did a video today uh, about the high probability of uh, silver um, getting another hit. And uh, Silver Doctors did an article. Today, I think it might have been a guest article, but nonetheless, um, the silver bottoming, we're about to crash. Uh, these little things start coming up. You know that something might be happening. And uh, looking at the silver chart, this is a silver minis weekly chart. You can see that it is starting to break down. And um, as of my l last uh, little video, I was very upset. <clears throat> Three o'clock in the morning, when silver was crashing 10, 11 percent, when it crossed over the 26 mark, went all the way down to 22. Well, since then, it's been not consolidating, but making a bearish flag pattern here. <clears throat> and usually this is a midpoint. So we can take a, usually this top from 26.50 down to 22, that's $4. So we can take that and from 22 going down another $4, $4.5, whatever it is. It's not exact, but you get an approximation of where it's going to end up, and it looks like it might be uh, just below 19. Um, like I said, this is a bearish uh, weekly flag pattern, and it's already started to break down from its break of this trend line, and its last spot of support on this is approximately 22, and I think. Before the week's end, I think we might see 22 and below. Uh, but from there, I think that we'll skirt this long-term trend line from its run-up, from its highs of, what is it, 49.50 or 48. Whoever you talk to might say 50. But um, that long-term trend line... I think that we'll skirt that line um, I can imagine it going be right below this line and then shooting up maybe doing a consolidation into this little pattern here or it could just bounce off of here and use this 1819 uh, support line to uh, find a bottom. I don't think we're at a bottom now. And I think a lot of people are realizing that. <clears throat> uh, volume has dropped off quite a bit. And I imagine why is because uh, everyone's realizing this paper market is just a sham. And everyone knows that the physical prices have separated from the paper prices. And uh, they're just using naked shorts 
to push the prices down. Uh, but one important thing from a posting that I did on Silver Doctors, I highly recommend you listening to this uh, Silver Doctors weekly update uh, in this article. You can see uh, the better content here. Whenever you see content like this, it's going to be from me. And basically, this is just a summary of the of the video. But uh, what I want to mention is the bullion banks are extricating or getting rid of their short positions and something to the tune of 40 to 60 percent of them and when you start seeing that uh, this the CO2 report came out and uh, the bullion banks are jumping on the long positions more and more so I think we'll see one more push down I'll s hope uh, to see on the next CO2 uh, COT uh, report the commercials report uh, where they're holding their uh, positions, big commercial banks, bullion banks. I think we'll see one more push down uh, right around the 20 mark, below 20, above the 20. Once it goes below 20 and then moves back above 20, I think it's that's the bottom. And hopefully that will coincide with this next CO2 or COT report. But the bullion banks are jumping on the long positions and getting rid of their short positions. And whenever you see that, you want to run with the banks. You don't want to. You want to bet against them. So that was a very important article. I would uh, highly recommend you uh, checking into that, making your own opinion. But um, Ranting Andy did a nice piece uh, yesterday with the Alternatives Hangout. I guess there's been a lot of trash talk about Ranting Andy and his uh, projections, his predict predictions and whatnot. And uh, you can tell in this piece that he was pretty frustrated uh, with all the negative talk and I just want to remind everyone that to keep your eye on the ball it's the bullion banks and their naked shorting that is causing all this havoc and the low prices but uh, in the physical side there is a short amount of silver to go around and as of late uh, people are waiting for this downturn to pan out because it's not over uh, when this crashed below 26, people were just, you know, pressing the buy button. And there was, Ranting Andy said there was up to eight weeks uh, wait time for silver. And now that's tapered off a little bit. It's up to like three weeks now. But premiums, premiums have come down a little bit too. But he suggested that you know, people are just waiting for this to pan out uh, because, you know, it's not over. So, I imagine that the bullion banks, when it gets down here to 18, 19, 20, back above 20, uh, the bullion banks will be fully loaded. We'll check on the uh, CO2 report. COT report, uh, the next one that comes out, make sure that they're on the long positions and they extricated their short positions and then we're on for a long ride up. Um, this has just been a long consolidation phase. You can see it's consolidated, 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 moved above that trend line. And now it's consolidating above that trend line. 
And I imagine it's going to go pop below that trend line and move up somewhere under here or up here. Nonetheless, like I said, I'm going to buy all the way down and all the way up. Um, again, I want to thank everybody for getting my YouTube channel. I got a, a ranking of four on Google. That's pretty nice. Never thought I'd see that. Uh, share my videos. Get the word out. Uh, I don't have any help with this stuff, so I appreciate you guys uh, helping me out by watching the videos, buying the products. Uh, get yourself a hat or t-shirt from Gearology. Colin is working hard on his, his side. And get yourself some, uh, some bullion from, uh, uh, JM Bullion, Gold Money, and any one of the bullion banks that I have, uh, on my website. And that's that. I want to thank everybody again. Please share this video. See ya.